Please uh, appreciate your, your your answer that you gave, but let me ask a couple others. You insinuated that uh, there's, what if there's another outbreak? We had one already in Oregon, which you're probably familiar with, and we had testimony that just came in that said there were at least three mink that escaped from that quarantine area, putting two, uh, putting them out into the area. So if we have another outbreak in Salem would, uh, or in Oregon, would you change your testimony and say that we should, in fact, uh, take other steps such as Senate Bill 832? Um, no, not necessarily, because um, the, the mink are uh, uh, exposed to the virus through the, through the human population. As long as the human population is circulating the virus, our mink farms will be somewhat at risk. Um, not knowing that all the, the extenuating circumstances around that, uh, I think we have very good guidance from, from USDA, One Health, uh, CDC, to be able to minimize the, the, uh, the spread of any virus uh, uh, off that farm. Dr. Easley, as the, as you stated, representative of the industry and in, uh, giving that point of view, I'd ask you two questions. Number one, are you being paid for your testimony today? Second, how many forums have you been, uh, participated in and giving similar testimony? Um, I am not being paid for, for doing this. Um, and I have all uh, given one other uh, testimony uh, in regards to this situation. I'm usually just uh, referenced and in, in, in work as a scientist for the industry. Um, and this is my first uh, first time ever, ever having to address uh, uh, you know, uh, a legislative body about, uh, about the industry. Thank you, Dr. Easley. Thank you, Doctor. I'd like to uh, invite the comments of uh, Michael Whalen, please. Mr. Chair. Yeah, yes. Hello. Can Mr. you hear me? Yes. Thank you for your comments, sir. Senator Hurd, your hand is up. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I, it just, I'm just kind of disturbed by some of the questions from the senator from Eugene I, I, against uh, the person who was testifying. Are we going to start asking every person that testifies for or against a bill that we, a uh, chair or vice chair or a member of the Senate uh, committee, doesn't like their testimony? We're going to ask them if they're paid? I mean, is SEIU going to be asked if they're paid every time they testify for or against a bill? I, I just don't understand this. Hopefully, I'll be afforded the same uh, privilege in Senate Judiciary by the good chair. Well, of course, there's, there is a line, and I guess every chair uh, uh, looks for it, and um, I didn't feel that that was over the line, and I hope you wouldn't uh, if, if in judiciary if that were the case. But, well, I've been, I've been accused in judiciary of conflicts of interest just for my position on a gun bill, and I did not, in fact, have any conflicts of interest. So there just seems to be a real imbalance. And that's not that's not you, the chair's fault in this committee. But it's just it just it bothers me that that kind of questioning is being brought out. Noted. I'm I'm going to move on, Senator Heard. Joe Rue.